awesome. What happened? You've got to tell me. Final year. We just had our last exam and we were getting pissed in the SU with a girl called... Leslie. Leslie. She and Rob were snogging and she turned and said, are we all going to have some fun? So we did. Was, was it weird? I mean, like, what's the logistics of that anyway? I mean, like, do you kind of do stuff together? No, nothing like that. No touching, limited eye contact. It's all about the girl, really. Yeah, you know. Was it good? It was all right. Hard to remember. Would you do it again? Depends, doesn't it? I mean, if I fancied the girl enough, then yeah. Why? Are you offering? What if I was? I would be there like a shot. Really? Yeah. All right, then. That's what we really want. Yeah. Six months. He hasn't touched me in six months. I'm so sorry. I mean, I always thought that like you were the perfect couple, you know what I mean? Yeah, well. Six months! Alright. I know six hours is a tough concept in your world. What? If you were mine, I wouldn't let you go for six minutes, let alone six months. I remember the first time I ever saw you. You were wearing that little green dress. I was so embarrassed. All the other women were in suits. What are you talking about? It was brilliant. All those boring grey birds and you in that little green dress. I remember when you walked into the bar that night, I said to Paul, there goes the mother of my children. But I turned my back for a minute and he's all over you. And that was it. You never thought twice about me. Those other women. Not if I had you. You just told me you think that you might be gay and you've been lying to me for the past three years. For the past six months you've made me feel like I wasn't good enough. Like I was stupid or hideous. Or that you've done something so terrible that you didn't want me anymore. I'm oh, sorry. I thought I could handle it. I thought I could make it work. I never wanted to hurt you. Don't you think I deserve a full explanation? First day of uni I saw him. 
parents were unpacking my room and he storms in clutching a six pack to we were going to be neighbours for the next year. He was the most incredible guy. Handsome, funny, confident. It's like he walks in a room and everyone looks, you know. I wanted to be like that, I wanted people to notice me. So I started drinking, going to the football, and all that, just so we could be friends. And then we'd go back to the halls and I'd hear him through the walls shagging a seemingly endless stream of girls just a few feet from me. I used to turn my music right up just to drown him out. I almost got evicted over him. Is that Rob? You're standing there telling me you're in love with Rob. My God! Sorry. You had girls! One or two? And I thought I'd get over it, you know, like cure myself somehow. But then he saw you. And he said how you were going to be the woman he was going to have children with. It's like a knife in my gut. He never talked about women like that. I wanted to hurt him. I wanted him to see what it was like to have something he wanted taken away. So you got in there first? Is that what I was to you, some kind of trophy? At first, yes. I enjoyed it. Finally getting one over on him. But I liked you. I liked being with you. I thought if I was going to be with a woman, it might as well be with one that I liked. But what does it matter now anyway? He's not going to want to be with me, is he? And Jesus Christ. The moment I'm asleep, you sneak off and fuck her up out here. Don't you dare. What? Don't you dare take the royal high ground on that. After what you've just told me, don't you fucking dare. What? You're standing there like I've ruined your life. Like somehow I'm your whole world. And you're shagging my best friend the moment you get up and charge. It wasn't like that. No? Well, what was it like then, eh? Tell me, Jen, because that's how it seems from here. He wants me! He wants me. You made me feel like I wasn't good enough. You made me feel like I wasn't even a proper woman anymore. The thought. The thought of you two behind my back. But it's all right for you to have your secrets, eh? You deserve better than him. Wrong room. Your girlfriend's next door. I'll put her in a taxi. I don't want her. I'll do anything. Whatever it takes, I will do it. I won't look at another girl again. I'll, I'll put one of them, them, them tracker devices on my phone so that you know where I am at all times. I will spend the rest of my life trying to make this up to you, but I can't go on like this anymore. Please, Jen. Just tell me what I can do and I'll do it. Ignore it. Please, Jen, just ignore it.